Studies have shown that while most patients with COVID-19 develop mild or uncomplicated illness, 14% develop several diseases that require hospitalization and oxygen support. Kira Motors, a brainchild of Makere University, has developed a low-cost medical ventilator to aid the country in the fight against COVID-19. In case it is immediate and we need ventilators, but also we know that the healthcare system requires to ultimately be strengthened so that even at uh, every district level, we can have support for uh, high dependence units with such devices. And our goal is ultimately to see that the supply chain is localized. So one, two, three. So the settings will vary depending on the different patients that you have. Uh, and then we can start the ventilation. Minister of Health, Jen Luther Chen, says developments like ventilators is timely because the country has got few. So we need to make sure that all the regional referral hospitals have such equipment ready on hand, ready for use. And the health workers also trained to use them. We cannot assume that health workers know what to do. Even now, if you took me there, although it is long since I last practiced, I will not even be understanding. I may know some of the equipment. So you don't make assumptions. People need to be trained on what to do. Jenna Chen says the country needs many to handle COVID-19 patients and other respiratory diseases. We should learn to be self-sufficient. The knowledge is with us. Ugandans are extremely bright. Usually what puts us down is lack of resources. But today we had all these that went into making this ventilator was available in Uganda. We didn't have to import. Uh, Mackay uh, University uh, Deputy Vice Chancellor, um, yes, also in charge of finance and administration, backup, uh, Professor William Bazeo says here. all the design they used are bought locally. Some of the materials to use. Fortunately, Honorary Minister, these materials were in Uganda. They were here being sold and used by other, other, other institutions doing other things, uh, people in TVs and so on. But our engineers were able to turn them around and say, we can make our own ventilator, perform the same work, do it very well and at a low cost. Joseph Bole, UBC, Kampala.